Hi guys, and, th and thanks for watching our weather update on the April 13th, 2023. So today, we're looking at the um, past 12 hour radar, looking at today's showers, um, today's showers are actually quite widespread. Um, they were much more widespread than we originally anticipated, with much of the eastern half of the country, as well as the north and the south, being covered by showers. Then we look at the the uh, UKV 12 set run for the detailed forecast for the next five days, and as usual, the models on where's the dot D for the next, for the next um, two or three weeks or so, uh, looking at the chances of dry weather next week, but also the chances of warm weather, uh, of some warm weather early next week. So we're going to start off with the um, 12 hour. Rainfall radar from Met Erin. So I've been playing it through, um, starting at um, 10 30. You can see that by 10 30, with showers in the north and, and a few scattered ones in the west. This up to now is pretty much to forecast. So we'd um, originally forecasted showers in the north, in the northeast, and in the south. Um, but that really wasn't the case as we went through the day. The showers in the north intensify, intensify a lot. In the late morning, and they push towards the Dublin area around um, twelve o'clock to one o'clock, and we also see some showers. And we also see showers breaking out in the south. Now, I push forward, and we can see some showers breaking out in the um, um, area just to the west of Dublin. And this is where it starts going a bit off forecast. Um, we, see just, we see showers forming here in the, towards the, towards the west of Dublin. And also, the showers in the south really do pep up. And then, before we know it, um, showers do break out quite widely across the eastern half of the country. Um, the only areas we were sort of um, forecasting showers in were the northeast, north, and then the south. However, I must tell, I must say, that I did have a slight feeling that it could erupt, that 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 it would erupt a bit more in a um, widespread fashion because. We've got cold air aloft around m m around minus two or minus three, and at fifty hpa, and temperatures around twelve or thirteen on the surface. And that's the temperature, and that's a um difference in temperature of about fifteen degrees Celsius in one thousand five hundred meters. That's a very stark contrast in temperature, you know, in such a short distance. And also with low pressure, just over Scotland, that sort of area. I was really quite surprised that the models showed such um sort of few showers across the country, and so I was sort of expecting. Um, I'm not lying; I actually did expect it, um, but I just didn't say it because I was just working off the models and what they were showing. But um, my slight suspicion did come true. Um, as we see, we we get some quite heavy showers breaking up, breaking out across the country. Look at that! Look at this big rash of showers across the uh, across Leinster and Ulster as well. Bit into comics, um, really quite, really quite, um, widespread showers, um, popping off there. That was quite an interesting day. Um, I saw some big hail today, um, so that's quite interesting. And then now in the evening, showers are clearing out into the sea and dying away. So that's just a little reevaluation of today's weather. Um, and, that, and, that, and this also applies with tomorrow's weather, as we'll see from this uh, UK Met chart. So you see, um, this UK Met chart is only picking up on the um, quite widespread nature of the shower of the showers on the three pm run. On the three am run, it didn't show the showers this widespread. It just shows that the models only really picked up on it when the action took place. Um, if you know what I mean. Um, so obviously, showers are very um, unpredictable. They can pop off anywhere. That sort of stuff. Um, but in this sort of situation, you know, I would generally expect more showers than the, than the forecast show. So going through up until midnight, we see skies clearing, a bit of high clouds edging into the south, um, bringing possibly some drizzle and rain to the south coast. That will quickly scoot away in the morning, um, before dawn, and we see sunshine countrywide, apart from the north, um, early tomorrow morning. Showers will spread into the north. And they'll push their way down across the country um, into tomorrow, um, late morning into the afternoon. And we see these 
cloud bubbling up across the country with showers. These are heaviest and most frequent in the north and northeast again. So much as a possibly possibly pushing into the Midlands and East for a time in the evening. Now, as I said, um based on what happened today, I would expect showers tomorrow to be more widespread th th than than what this shows. But since I'm saying this, I think that the weather gods have heard me saying this and may decide to make them less widespread <laughs> than um, this shows. Anyway, just based on my experience, I think that w that these showers will be more widespread tomorrow um, than this is showing. Just basically based on what happens today, and there have been several, several times in the past when this has happened, um, showers have been more, way more widespread um, in reality than what the you know, forecasts show. So I'm gonna guess that the showers more widespread, but general idea is heaviest in the Midlands, north and east. Um, you know, tomorrow night we see clearer skies breaking out as high pressure moves in. So a cold night with frost and fog, especially in the Midlands. Then tomorrow, um, sorry, Saturday afternoon we see a high cloud coming coming in, coming in off the Atlantic at first, followed by lower cloud and drizzle and rain in the west. Um, possibly be possibly a bit heavy there across Donegal and Sligo and Leitrim. Um, then we move through into Sunday, and that scoots into Scotland and dies away somewhat, and we go into the afternoon. A few um, showers could, could be sparked off by higher temperatures on Sunday, um, temperatures reaching about 15, 15, 16 degrees on Sunday. Um, and with the moist air mass, with sunshine, we could spark off a few downpours, but I think that's quite an off chance. Um, on this is Monday, we see a bit of patchy rain in the, uh, in the wee hours of the morning. Um, moving up from the south, but then into Monday we gradually see sunshine pushing up from the south, and into Tuesday much the same sort of situation. Winds veering more easterly by that stage, so um, probably c cooling down a bit, but still beautiful skies, sunshine, um, quite quite mild I'd say. Now let's focus on the longer range. Um, so we know what's like to see in tomorrow and Saturday. Um, low pressure gradually weakening off, but still showery tomorrow. Um, high pressure building up from the south and rushing towards Scandinavia towards Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, picking up a southeasterly to easterly wind, gradually very more easterly next week, um, possibly quite chilly towards midweek and towards the end of the week, um, with a little trough of low pressure scooting through the channel. Um, yeah, there's some quite cooler air um, with that. Um, so pushing through towards the end of the week, we see high pressure retrogressing towards Greenland and low pressure anchors over, over the country um, and we pull down the cold northerly winds. This northerly is very cold. We pull through the minus 5 Celsius ice term, so that would be a real chill. Um, i say with that you get April showers, copious copious downpours with that. Precipitation, yeah, it looks pretty showery um, with that sort of air mass. Um, then we push through towards um, Wednesday, April 26th. That's a real storm blowing up there. Um, I wouldn't that I, I wouldn't take that too seriously. Um, it's a GFS and it's a long way out, over over, th over three hundred hours out. Um, that's probably not. It's certainly not going to verify. But never say never. You never know. Um, then we push through into the end of April, and we look fairly cool and um, a bit showery from time to time. Upper temperatures are. On the cold side, with actually with the minus ten Celsius ice them just lurking to northern Scotland. That's really really cold for the time of year. Um, that's really quite ridiculous. Um, ECM to ref run looks like this. Let's go to the hover. Okay, so we start around Sunday. Weather high pressure starts moving northwards. Um, is it Monday? I say Monday is the will, will be the warmest day of, of this spell. Um, with winds from more of a southeast direction, with with Slacker winds as well. Um, into Tuesday, we see the easterly p coming through, so um, fair weather, but also maybe a bit chilly at the same time as t maybe a bit chilly um, too with that. Um, sorry now. Um, going through to next weekend, we see a mild southwesterly airflow push through. However, low pressure does look like it's, it's going to break through from the west. Um, GM, gem. The loveliest run of all is a gem. <laughs> anyway, um, Sunday and to Monday we see high pressure towards Scandinavia, um, and that strengthens up. 
with this, I think there's a less of an easterly flow, more of a south easterly with this one. So I think this is the warmest run out of all. However, it was um, the end of the run we do actually pick up a stronger wind. However, it's coming more from you know the southeast rather from the east. So this is going to be a slightly milder situation um, outcome. Um, if this comes off. However, by the end of it, we pull down a cold northerly wind with high pressure towards um, Iceland. Uh, UK and Met run. Let's look at how this does it. Then um, the high pressure goes north towards Scandinavia. Uh, so quite mild on Monday, but the winds go to the east on Tuesday. Um, possibly like the GM with that one. The high pressure is a bit further southwards, possibly meaning the temperatures will be slightly higher, with the winds a bit slacker and a bit more from the southeast instead of the east. Um, Icon 12 says because that gets a longer time, longer range there. Um, I think the Icon has more of an easterly to it. No, not really. It's at the start, it does have more of an easterly to it, but it, it, it does go more southeasterly, but at the same time, more more unsettled too, with low pressure in the Atlantic. Finally, we reach the Arpege, the Arpege, the French run. Um, yeah, so we see the high pressure moving northwards, um, and we end up putting an easterly wind. Um, oops, that was strange, a big mouse. Um, from Uzbekistan, I think that is. If that, I think that one's Uzbekistan. And anyway, that's it for today's video. So um, we're coming to the end of this unsettled spell. Um, next week looks drier, starting off quite warm, but only for Monday, that sort of period. And then it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We see easterly winds and cooler air, most likely, with um, some cloud, but also but also some sunshine and possibly some showers on the east coast. Um, possibly at times extending, extending westwards. Um, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow probably for another update. Um, stay safe and bye for now.